This is probably some of the best life advice that I can give you, so make sure that you stay tuned. What is up everybody? This is Chris from The Rewired Soul where we talk about the problem but focus on the solution. And welcome back to another video where this week we are diving into the topic of how to be a better person. And let me tell you, this is the most important thing I will ever tell you. So please be sure to stay tuned to this entire video, save it as a favorite, come back to it whenever you need to. And also, share this video with other people because today the problem that we're gonna be talking about is who you surround yourself with. One of the best pieces of advice that I got that changed my life when I put it into practice was this, stick with the winners, okay? So I will use my personal experience, for example, all right? I surrounded myself with people who were well, the opposite of winners is losers, right? I hung out with people who had no motivation, no passion, they were just coasting through life. These are the people who are always negative, they don't have any kind of optimism, no positivity ever comes out, and these people would fuel me in the same way. Like whenever I went to them with a problem, if I ever caused my own problems, they would say, yeah man, the whole world's out to get you, screw her, screw them, screw that company, screw that job, and all these other things, right? And they would just fuel it and feed it. And like, these are the things that make me depressed. These are the things that make me anxious. When I surround myself with people who are constantly thinking that the world is the problem and I'm not the problem or they're not the problem, it fuels my brain into thinking, oh, you know what? This whole world's out to get me and nothing's ever gonna get better because that's all I surround myself with. So when I hit a mental rock bottom, when I was sick and tired of living the way I was living, I realized I had to make a change and people kept telling me, stick with the winners, stick with the winners, stick with the winners. So what are the winners, right? What are the, the things that I look for in somebody who is successful or doing well in life? Who are the people who are happy, sane, successful? The things that I want, right? Like I look for these qualities. So the first step in this, the very first step in this is do an audit. Do an audit of your friends. Do an audit of your circle. And sometimes it's your family. Okay, okay, like a lot of what we're gonna be talking about too when getting rid of the bad friends or the bad family members or the bad people in our social circles, it goes back to the last video uh, we were talking about setting up boundaries, right? So do this audit of your friends. What are they doing? What are they doing in life? Do they fill you up with positivity or negativity, right? Do they focus on the problem or do they focus on the solution? Do they stay in the problem? How much optimism do they give you? When you're down, do they feed into it? Do they say everything's terrible, everything's awful, everything's always gonna be that way? Or do they show you the bright side? Do they lift you up, right? Are these people passionate and motivated? Do they have something in their life that drives them, that fuels them? Are they constantly trying to improve themselves and get better and better and better? And I'm not just talking about monetary things. I'm talking about better as a person, right? Maybe that's physical. Is this somebody who goes to the gym, they work out, you know, maybe they do a little Muay Thai or something? Or is it somebody who's working on their mental health? Is this a person doing yoga, meditation, therapy, right? What are they doing to improve themselves, okay? What are they doing to make this world a better place? Do you have people in your life who are out there trying to make a difference in this world? You know what I'm saying? So the first thing I had to do was audit my friends, audit my friends and saying, what are these people doing? Is this person happy? That's a great question. That's a great question to ask yourself. Is this person happy more often than not? Because if they're not, maybe they're not doing the right things. Maybe they're not focusing on improving themselves. Maybe I need to distance myself from them, all right? And here's the, th the way that you do that, okay? I had to do this with a lot of friends. I've been through it, I know it's hard, right? But you gotta say, listen, I love you, I love you so much, but there's some stuff I gotta do to work on me right? And you gotta love them at a distance. You can't talk to them as much, right? I'm not telling you to get rid of your best friend or get rid of your family members or anything like that, but you gotta limit your social interactions with them because they will bring you down. They will drag you down so much. The people who are constantly complaining will bring you down. You need to start surrounding yourself with people who will motivate and inspire you. Like the examples I can give you are people like my girlfriend who's going back to school to be a social worker for kids. She wants to help out kids who have a troubled youth. She wants to help those kids succeed, right? I have my best friend in California and she works her 
butt off trying to improve the healthcare of everybody in California. That's something she's working on. She's also pursuing her PhD in child psychology. She wants to help tackle this mental health thing at a young age, that inspires me, right? One of my very good friends, she, got her teaching degree and she could have taught at any high school here in Las Vegas. She chose, she chose to work at one of the most underprivileged high schools in this city, okay? Why? Because she wants to make an impact. She wants to make a difference. That inspires me. These people who I keep around me inspire me on a daily basis to be a better person. And they are there for me when I need to be lifted up. They hit me with that optimism, you know what I'm saying? But these people are people who inspire me to do positive things and make videos like this. They tell me the bright side when my brain is focused on the negative. You know what I mean? But here's the thing, here's the thing. You can't be selfish about this. You gotta look at this situation and say, what can I do to inspire them, right? They're giving you so much, what can you do to inspire them to get better as well, right? To be better. We're constantly helping lift each other up and reach those next levels in our life and improve our mental health. We cannot do do that if we are sitting around and hanging out with people who are completely negative, they're lazy, they have no ambitions, we gotta cut those people out, right? Now, something that might happen, and it's happened with me, is as I continue to improve, my old friends, they start coming up and they say, man, now I want what Chris has. How do I do that? So some of my old friends, they come back into my life and now they're in this winner circle, right? They're acting like winners. They're not the person that they used to be and now they're back in my life. But man, you have to do this, you have to do this. And if you don't have people like this in your life, Follow people on Instagram, follow people on Twitter, follow other uh, YouTubers. Like, I follow Gary Vaynerchuk. He's always talking about uh, his passion and positivity and the mindset and all these things. And sometimes he's my motivational pick-me-up. You know what I mean? Find people who inspire you, okay? Now, some of this might sound easier said than done, but it's not. It's not, I hear people all the time. They're like, Chris, Chris, I can't cut this person out of my life. I can't cut him out of my life. I've known him my whole life or this is my family member or something like that. When you look at this thing as very black and white, very life and death, lot easier to make decisions. It's a whole lot easier to make decisions like this, all right? And like I said, there's a loving and compassionate way to say this to the people in your life, but you gotta cut them out. And I promise you, I promise you, like I said at the beginning of this video, this is the best advice I can give you. Find the people who are the winners. Find the people who motivate and inspire you. The last thing I will say on this is the best friends that you will ever make in your life are gonna tell you what you need to hear and not what you want to hear, all right? I do not surround myself with enablers anymore. I do not surround myself with people who let me slip, they let me fall, they let me screw up. They, I, I, I have these people who tell me the truth, all right? Now, they love me unconditionally, but they say, yo, Chris, you screwed up, you messed up. So again, have people in your life who aren't afraid to tell you what you need to hear. These are the best friends you will ever have. And here's the reason why. You always know that they can tr that you can trust them, all right? So that way, like say you, you, uh, you try to create something, right? You know you have people who always tell you the truth and it means so much more when they compliment it. They said, man, that was really good. Or girl, that was really good. Cause you know they always tell you the truth. You know that you have people around who say, yo, that sucked. You know what I mean? Keep honest friends in your life, all right? But anyways, let's do this. Down in the comments below, let me know who inspires you. What friend do you have? Is it a mom? Is it a dad? Is it one of your best friends? Is it a colleague? Maybe it's someone you never met. Maybe it's somebody on Twitter, Instagram, YouTube, on TV, whoever it is. Who inspires you to be a better person, all right? Leave it down in the comments below. But anyways, like I said, please share this video. If you know people who are surrounding themselves by not the winners, share this video with them, all right? But if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. And if you are new here, I'm always making videos to help you out with your mental and emotional well-being. Click that little round subscribe button. And a big, big, big thank you to everybody supporting the channel and what I do over on Patreon. And if you would like to help me spread a message of hope, you can click or tap on that Patreon icon right there, all right? Thanks so much for watching. Stick with the winners, and I'll see you next time.